Chuck here with Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead again. Welcome back to the homestead. This here, this is my old, this is my homeboy Rome right here. Yeah, me and him's buddies. Anyway, I don't recall how long ago that it's been. I was showing you about how I work over the fur and clean him up. And you can look back and see when I posted that video, it was a fairly recent. I posted it fairly recent after I filmed it, so that's how long ago it's been since we shot that video. And I want you to see, even though he's still got a lot of fur coming out here. Now the good news is, is we're in the middle of July now, and we've got enough humidity that we don't really need the spray bottle. We've got enough sweat on our hands to get the job done. Don't rub your nose. You'll be sneezing all night long. Hey, buddy. Anyway. I uh, just wanted to show you before you see how this fur all this in here this is improved you see how that's all nice see how that's doing isn't that nice this is see he's blown this out now can you see you could probably see I'm gonna trace it with my finger right here is a line and then there it comes up here there's a line there Forward to that line, he's already pretty much blown his coat, and he's growing in a nice, new, healthy coat. Back here, not so much. See this? See this? This is still blowing out, but this is usually the part that takes the longest. This around the hindquarter here. Okay? Now, good news is, that's not what this video is about. I had somebody ask me, and you know how much I love rabbit genetics, had somebody asked me about red rabbits. They were breeding some rabbits, I think a red to a white or a red to a black or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they didn't understand why they didn't get a single red out of the bunch. Okay, well, uh, let me explain it to you, okay? Y'all know what a chestnut looks like? Becca, do you know what a chestnut looks like? A little bit. Find me a chestnut rabbit. Anyway, naturally we're talking about different breeds, but I don't have a chestnut New Zealand. So sue me, all right. Now, how do we come up with a red New Zealand? Because they are just so gorgeous. Absolutely my favorite bunny in the whole wide world, right? How do we get this beautiful red? Well, one thing, it... <laughs> One thing, uh, you, 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 it helps if you can start out with the best reds that you can find, which is pretty much what we did. Go ahead and, is that squirrely? Yeah, squirrely. I thought you was going to get the baby. You know what he's going to do, right? I got it. I'll watch Set him. right here. I'll watch him. Okay. Now, see this color? A chestnut New Zealand. No, no wrong. A chestnut New Zealand is the same color as this right here. See this black in here? See these bands of color? He, this is what, that's, that's pretty much what he is with, with some slight modifications. Romeo, or a red New Zealand rabbit, starts out genetic wise in the womb, being created. Genetics decides, you know, genetically, it is decided in the womb, I guess, that he is going to become a beautiful red, just like he did. So to start out with, What's the recipe for a New Zealand red rabbit? Or, well, I can't say any red because some reds don't need all these genes. Others do. Okay. Settle down, children. I know. No wrong. Ingredient number one for a red rabbit. You need an agouti. Now, we also call this chestnut. Again, in many wrecks, we call it castor. But you need an agouti rabbit. That's the ones with all these beautiful bands of color. See those? Isn't that just gorgeous? See that See that ring of color? Okay, now, right on the tips of this fur, you need to, I, I, don't, I don't think even if I got close enough with the camera to show you this, I, I don't think you're gonna see the full effect. But when you get a chance, pick up a chestnut rabbit, blow in the fur. Look at that, those beautiful rings of color in there. And just know that what happens is, this guy is an agouti rabbit. But on the E locus of his genetic, of his genotype, he's got two, if we were writing it out, they're lowercase E's. And what that stands for is non-extension 
and without going into a lot of stuff that I'm not even sure that I completely understand yet, basically what it does is it takes a rabbit like this and erases all the black. All this black, see all that black speckled in? It takes all that black away. See those rings? See that black in there? It takes all that away. Okay? Now, see that intermediate color? It's going to be hard to see, but right below right below the black ring, right below there, you're going to see a, red, or a ring that's going to look orange, orange or rusty red or brown color. Okay, which is primarily where you're getting this light red color here. here. Actually, that's a lot. Actually, this center part in here is actually more of a red. This on this this light color on the tip, it's more of a fawn color to me. But anyway, the point is, the extension, the non-extension is recessive. You get it from both parents, okay? And it turns this into just picture this rabbit with no black, and all that other color stays, okay? Now, what happens is, is all that black is gone, so you picture this red with all that black gone. See? You see any black on him? That's my point. It's all gone. On his e locus, he has two recessive non-extension genes, okay? And because they're recessive and he's got two of them, it actually shows on the rabbit. All the black's gone. And actually, I like it better that way. Now, this look. Now, take a look at your chestnut rabbit right below the black. There's a beautiful, like I was saying, there's a beautiful little, see that ring of fawn? A fawnish red or orange looking color right there, sis? Yes. Okay, that ring is going to be left behind once you take all that black out. Okay, now there's another gene that is not on the A through E locus, which we normally, but it's called the wideband gene. It, it, it is characterized on the genotype by a lowercase w, okay? Normal rabbits, this rabbit has a uppercase w, which is dominant, and it makes her look, makes those bands show up in there like they're supposed to, okay? Now, for the red, you want the wide band. Now, what it does, what is a wide band? Well, here's what it does. You see that little band of reddish rufous? red, orange, whatever you choose to call it, so that little band of color in there, it widens it out and makes it to where it extends farther down the hair shaft. See that blue? See that dark slate blue that starts about right here at the tip of my finger and goes all the way down to her skin? It makes it to where this little band of rusty red looking color, it makes it to where that's wider. Now look. Look at Romeo. See that color? See how that color that we're... See, it's a color just like this behind her ears. See that color, that rusty red? Okay, see that red? See that color on here? Now on him, it's darker. But we'll get into that. Because there's also a Rufus modifier that actually makes that red darker. Okay, and lighter. Now the wide band, but what the wide band does is make this red basically take up the entire hair shaft. Now when you get down to the very end, look. See, there's no slate blue on this rabbit. We told you this started out being an agouti rabbit, but do you see any slate blue at the bottom of that hair shaft? No. Why? Because that wide band gene makes this red go all the way down, almost to the almost to the skin. Okay? And it takes away that dark slate blue undercolor. Okay? Now, you'll see it, especially with the we're looking at these babies over here that we've been looking at for a few weeks now. Excuse me, mosquito got me. Uh, State Bird of Arkansas. Uh, you can put her up, okay. probably. Yeah, I think I think I think we get the idea, and and uh, we can get Romeo's mind back on business. Well, that, I guess that is his business, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, but down in by the skin, you look down that hair shaft, you see red, and you see just a lighter, fawn, creamy color down in by his skin. That's the way he's supposed to be. Now, you look at a red rabbit. You look at a herd of red rabbits. They don't all look exactly the same. Some are darker and some are lighter. Now, there's something... Now, now that is controlled by something that we call a Rufus modifier. It is not actually... It is not actually a gene, and it doesn't actually have a locus in and of itself. Basically what it does is it controls the amount of black and yellow pigment that actually goes into the skin. 
or into the I'm sorry into the fur okay these rabbits no matter what color you it looks like to your eye black or the or the lack thereof and yellow or the lack thereof is what the colors of these rabbits is entirely made up of okay it's either black and yellow or black and yellow missing mixed together that makes it the color you see okay in this case the Rufus modifier is actually going to modify the amount of red or I'm sorry black or yellow that's in this fur color to give it a more vibrant darker red color or to give it a lighter red color now just to just to prove my point see how light this guy is he would have a low level of Rufus modifiers in his in his genetic makeup and what it's doing is it's it's just modifying it's not it's not a gene in and of itself okay it doesn't have its own allele it's not a, a chromosome or whatever the term is it is modifying existing chromosomes on various alleles okay so what it's doing is is he already has the genetics to make it red but that modifier <laughs> He don't like them bothering his food. Junior doesn't like to share. <laughs> anyway, he uh. <laughs> I thought he was fixing to eat that goose up, and I was gonna laugh while he did it. Anyway, uh. But you see this color, especially down the side. See how light that is? It looks like a fawn or a creamy color. Okay, that's not ideal color, especially for show, but this rabbit will taste just fine. So, it's n nothing's wasted around here, okay? <laughs> See this nice pretty color? Guess what? Guess where he gets this color from? That's right, Daddy. Because if you look at Mommy over there, she's kind of light. And the reason that she's light, it's kind of, kind of getting off the subject here, but her mama's a broken rabbit. Even though she's a solid, her mama's a broken, and when you breed a solid to a broken, the resulting red babies can be light in color, and she's a little bit light in color. We love her anyway. She's throwing babies. You see this? You see, she's throwing decent color. Okay, okay. We're not upset. If you paid attention to Bianca, you'll know that it is just almost impossible to get any be more beautiful red color on a rabbit than what she has. Uh, I want to watch the chicken peck the cat. Nope, it backed off. Sorry. Uh, we, we create our own entertainment it, around the around the barnyard here, but uh, see, this is a, this this rabbit has less Rufus modifiers. This rabbit has more. Romeo has his own. Okay. The way I understand it is, on the genotype, a Rufus modifier is denoted by just a plus mark, and there can be up to five of them. Normal normal red color is about three pluses. If they're lighter than what is would be considered just a normal red color, then you take a plus away. If they're darker, then you add a plus. Okay? But the point is, they're just modifiers. Okay? They're not genes in and of themselves. They're just modifying exec, existing genes to make the red darker or lighter. Okay? And what you want, you want the darkest red you can find without the rabbit actually looking smutty. Okay, you don't actually want the rabbit to look smutty, but if you've got a rabbit that looks smutty, don't go eat it because find you a light colored rabbit like Marcy. Remember that beautiful color I told you Bianca had? Bianca's daddy is a beautiful buck, but he has, and he's almost to the verge of looking more like a chocolate rabbit than a red rabbit. He is so dark, and the judges have even used the word smutty describing him. Don't I'm using their words, this is not my words. He is a dark rabbit, but when mixed with a light rabbit like Marcy, a rabbit that's just a, per, a you know, just ideal red color like Bianca and Cheyenne can result. So, uh, you know, something can always be worked with if you have something to complement it. But talking about red, that's basically it. You start with an agouti rabbit or a chestnut rabbit. Chestnut New Zealands are not recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association, but they do exist, okay? If you breed, if I breed, and I'm going to show you guys, okay? I've got it in mind the next time that Sally is to be bred. I don't know which one yet, but she's going to be bred to a red. And I'm going to show you guys, she's probably going to throw mostly chestnuts. Are those chestnuts going to be worthless? Why, no, because we like to eat rabbit around here. 
but more importantly, we're going to save some of those nicer chestnuts, and we're going to breed them back into our reds and try to get some of Sally's nice body type into our red line. It's going to take a couple of generations, but we got nothing but time, right? I mean, if a God takes me up tomorrow, I guess I'm ready to go, but until then, it's going to be business as usual, or, try, or at least try to be. Okay, Rome, is that all right with you, buddy? And in the meantime, Romeo's going to keep blowing this fur out from front to back here. See, he's still, see, I can pluck it out here, but look, when I work on him up here, see, I don't get nothing. This is all new, live hair. Okay, now he's got some down here, too. See that? See that? See that? But up here, this is, this is newer hair, see? This, I was plucking out of here the other day. Now it's moved down further to his side. See here? That's coming out. That's just the way it comes. Okay? And you can pluck it, but just don't, when you do this, don't grab it. Just, okay? It, it, if you grab a hold of those hairs that are still attached to his body, it's going to hurt him. So what I do is I just let my fingers touch. I grab that skin that I think is loose. And see, he's still flinching when I do it. See? But I'm not pulling his fur. But the ones that are dead and loose are sticking to the end of my finger just enough that I can pull them out. Okay? And just work your way around. Get right, buddy. Get right, buddy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's pampered. And Romeo is one of my favorites to use for camera. Okay? But don't think that all rabbits don't go through this. Don't think for a second, Romeo, leave, leave, I don't, wait. That one goes through that okay, one. Okay, this I know, I got one. it. Yeah. That's why I wanted you I to get a light it. one from there and a dark yeah. one from here so we didn't mix them up. That's what I was watching you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is what we got going on. He's just as pretty as can be. Um, so I guess, I guess from here on, from, from this point forward, it's uh, pertaining to reds. If you've got any questions, you're welcome to leave them in the comments. Get on our Facebook page. Uh, look up Hillbilly Hat Faker Homestead. Or, Hill, no, I'm sorry, it's just Hillbilly Homesteading, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Facebook.com forward slash Hillbilly Homesteading, and you can find our, 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 our page on <coughs> Facebook. You can like that, but you can contact us. You can post something, post a question on there for everybody to see, or you can send us a message through that page privately, uh, however you want to do it. But if you've got any further questions, in other words, if this video is as clear as mud, we'll try to clear up the mud for you. Just let us know if, if there's something that maybe we confused you or something we didn't make clear enough. We'll, we'll try to iron it out. All right. But if I don't hear from anybody, I'm just going to assume that I did a pretty good job explaining stuff. So, y'all got to tell me if I do a good job or a bad job, that way I know. Alright, all right. so, until next time, I guess, we certainly appreciate those of you that stuck around to the end of the video. And uh, we hope you have a wonderful day, and God bless you.